Our world, it's getting smaller all the time, but its demand for energy continues to grow. More and more, we're recognizing the benefits of natural gas as an environmentally friendly, clean burning energy source. Our country is one of the world's largest producers of natural gas. We're also one of the world's largest consumers, with demand growing 2 to 3 percent each year. The U.S. Department of Energy projects that over the next two decades, our country will be using significantly more gas than it produces. When demand outpaces supply, we must import the natural gas we need by pipeline or in a liquefied form as liquefied natural gas or LNG. You may have heard about LNG in the news lately as more facilities are being proposed. If you're like me, you may have some questions like, what is LNG? Why do we need it? And most importantly, is it safe? LNG is the same clean and safe natural gas used in homes for cooking and heating, and as a fuel for industry and power plants. Fundamentally, the only difference is that LNG is natural gas that has been cooled to its liquid form. At a special facility called a liquefaction plant, natural gas is chilled to minus 260 degrees Fahrenheit. By chilling the gas to this temperature, it condenses to a liquid. 600 cubic feet of gas can be reduced to a single cubic foot of liquid, making it easier to transport over long distances. From the LNG storage tanks in the liquefaction plant, LNG is loaded onto double-hulled ships and then transported to receiving terminals where it's unloaded and stored in specially designed tanks. At the receiving terminal, the LNG is warmed, returning it to its gaseous form. It is then fed into pipelines and delivered to industry, businesses, and homes like yours. For many years, countries like Japan and South Korea have obtained nearly all of their natural gas this way. The LNG industry has been producing, transporting, and delivering LNG around the world safely for more than 40 years. In fact, LNG ships are among the safest and most reliable vessels at sea today. They're built under strict international standards and equipped with advanced shipboard monitoring and navigation systems. Their double hull design offers additional protection. And the LNG tanks are totally contained inside the inner hull. LNG is not pressurized to keep it in its liquid state. In the history of LNG, very few mishaps have occurred. The only tragic incident to impact the public occurred at an LNG storage facility more than 60 years ago at the infancy of the industry. This incident taught the industry much about the design and materials required for construction of future LNG facilities. The industry and government continued to work together to ensure the safety of LNG. Careful consideration is given to the selection of sites for LNG facilities, as well as the materials used in their construction. Because LNG is stored and transported at extremely low temperatures, LNG facilities utilize materials that are not adversely affected by cold temperatures, such as high nickel or stainless steels and aluminum alloys. For added safety, LNG storage tanks have independent containment systems. Some designs feature an inner tank surrounded by a thick reinforced concrete outer tank, complete with a reinforced concrete roof. Other tanks are surrounded by a berm, which can contain the tank's entire contents in the unlikely event of a spill. Advanced monitoring capabilities are integrated within the facility control systems to shut down the plant safely. And personnel undergo extensive training and certification. LNG is odorless, non-toxic, and non-corrosive. 
When exposed to the outdoors, LNG rapidly evaporates, leaving no residue on water or soil. Watch what happens when LNG is added to water. The LNG quickly evaporates with no harmful after effects. A vapor layer forms above the water and the LNG. Once evaporated, all that's left is a small piece of ice and the original clean glass of water. As it warms, natural gas rises and simply dissipates into the atmosphere. Before being vaporized, LNG will not ignite because it can't burn unless it's mixed with the right amount of air. After vaporization, if natural gas mixes with air and comes in contact with an ignition source, the natural gas simply burns back to the source of the leak. These days, with all of us more concerned about terrorism, it's good to know that LNG receiving terminals are required to have government-approved security plans. In addition, numerous national and international government agencies are entrusted with making sure the LNG industry operates securely. The Department of Homeland Security is responsible for protecting LNG ships and receiving terminals. The U.S. Coast Guard closely monitors LNG vessel activities and, when necessary, escorts vessels into and out of port. Exclusion zones keep other vessels from traveling near LNG ships while in transit or when berthed at receiving terminals. Careful screening of crews prior to arrival and other measures are designed to maintain a safe environment throughout the voyage. Today, LNG liquefaction plants, ships, and receiving terminals are operating safely around the world, making supplies of affordable natural gas available for homes and manufacturing to help maintain the vital industries and jobs that keep our economy strong. The future is clear. To meet the ever-growing demand for clean-burning, environmentally friendly natural gas in the U.S. and around the world, New supplies of LNG are being developed, and new LNG receiving terminals need to be built. LNG has proven itself to be a clean, safe, and reliable energy source. The LNG industry is well positioned to continue to deliver this safe fuel source to help us meet our energy needs today and tomorrow. For more information, visit www.lngfacts.org.